Hey there. So, for a while, I was, um, I was, I was, ta like, you know, I was thinking about it if I wanted to make this video or not, like, for a while. And, I, and I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about within the first 20 seconds of this video. Like, I love football, man. But it's like, you know, it's like, I, I guess there's been like dark days before in football and stuff. It's just, this is the first time I've ever seen it in my lifetime. And man, it was, it was dark. Like I like, I'm like, I don't want to, this is journalism though. So I guess I'll just get on to it. So if you were watching football on Monday, then you probably, like you probably saw what happened that, a young man named Damar Hamlin went in for a tackle. He, he was on defense, just you know, stop a runner. Um, to me, it just like I like I like it looked like what I you know like like I, I saw what happened and stuff. It, it did not look intentional though. But I would say that like I saw, I don't know, it's like it, it, it kind of looked like a, a curve or something the way T Higgins was running and stuff though. And I believe that. This was all not on purpose because apparently T. Higgins, the one with the ball, and Damar Hamlin actually went to the same school in Pittsburgh. So, um, you know, like they're like this. Whew, this is a big story that like, you know, it's like like a lot of people are talking about this, you know, and stuff. Um, I didn't want to do this unless if there was like a good outcome, though. But it, I'll leave that for the end a little bit, though. But I want to explain it, uh, what happened. So, T. Higgins went to, had the ball. DeMar went to go stop him. Um, I, I, was watching the, I was watching the replay on Monday a lot. Just, like, just wondering what happened to this young man and stuff. And it just, it just kept breaking my heart. Like, it just... It just kept breaking my heart, and, and that was the reason. Like, this is journalism and stuff, and like, this is one of the stories I didn't want to do. Like, not not really. Like, I like I was I was telling myself like I should probably stay away from this one if it doesn't have like a good like a good outcome and stuff. Though, like, well, I will say, freaking Damar Hamlin had a toy drive on GoFundMe. And I'm looking at it right now. So it was only of a goal of raised of yeah, twenty so seven point four million dollars has been raised in the Chasing M's Foundation Community Toy Drive. It was only a two thousand five hundred goal and it raised seven million. I remember like at one point it was at three million. And then four million, and then when I check today, it's at seven million. Wow! And like it just—it's very sad what happened. It's just so so good to see that you know that his toy drive did, has done like has raised so much money. Like freaking! I don't like. I'm trying to see when he when this was started because like I pretty sure safe to say that it was made during the holiday season and stuff and the the heart like the heart to to give hope to kids you know for a toy drive and stuff like that kept continuing on because it's like during the holidays and stuff things are more cheer like like people are more cheery and stuff and like this 7.4 million dollars this is so heartwarming it is so heartwarming that it has raised 7.4 million dollars my gosh but yeah apparently um i was looking up the specifics of what happened and so i'm only i'm only just explaining of the causes like the like you know i've been i've been watching a lot of youtube and like i like just like a, a lot of stuff like just trying to figure out what's real what's not you know what i mean 
Um, but they're saying Camocio Cordis. Uh, I'm I'm only um, checking Google for what it says. Camocio Cordis refers to the sudden arrhythmic death caused by a low, mild chest wall impact. Camocio Cordis is seen mostly in athletes between the ages of 8 and 18. That's why I think they're saying it may be. Like, this guy was 24. So, and 18 and 18. Eight and eighteen who are partaking in sports with pre projectiles such as baseballs, hockey pucks, or lacrosse balls. That's why um, Colin Cowherd was talking about like sports is a deadly uh, is, is is a deadly game. Well, like it, it's pretty deadly, you know. It's like because he talked about um, baseballs, like you know, being thrown at like ninety eight miles per hour before, and like I'm and I just got done watching some of that stuff at. Before, back then, they used to be, like, 80 miles per hour and stuff, which is still pretty... That's pretty fast still. So, but, you know, it's just... Athletes in general just take, like, a bigger risk and stuff, and it's just kind of... Like, I feel like a lot more people just kind of thought about... Have been thinking about that lately, lately, about, like, how dangerous are sports nowadays and stuff, and it just... And it kind of, like... It does concern me with um, with Jake growing up and stuff. Like, I want him to, I want him to get into football. It, it does concern me and stuff. And you know, it's just like a young man playing football and stuff. Uh, you know, it's like he could get a concussion in high school or college or something. You know, and but it's like that. That's usually the thing with football. It's the whole concussion thing like i know what a concussion felt like i got one when i was i was just working security and stuff and freaking like it was over at it was over at a training camp and stuff and freaking it's just like head injury like injuries in general and stuff is just like uh, like just injuries in general like chest is like you know this like this was like not expected and like in my opinion i just like wow like i've never seen this ever and stuff though but you know good news is he woke up uh i was actually you know i came down to get a cup of coffee and went to go check my laptop and everything I'm like oh you know the first thing i see is damar hamlin has woken up which is good i feel a little bit better doing the story so i can say damar hamlin has woken up and stuff and he's responsive like he he was even able to speak first sentence he said did we win like you like you just gotta love that kind of fucking spirit out of an athlete and stuff like freaking ah uh, like you know, it's like, this young man is, like, he fought fucking hard. Like, freaking, like, I remember, like, man, like, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are saying, like, prayers for Hamlin and stuff. And it was, it's like, this was very sad. I didn't want to cover it unless if it had, like, a happy ending because it's like, it's just, this is pretty dark. And I was just, like, I, I feel like a lot of people were just shooken up and stuff because, like, like if you if you watch all like if you look through all the stuff and everything freaking it's just it's like oh oh my god but um but that's uh but that's with that story though um apparently a uh, freaking sportscaster is under uh it's under fire I don't even I don't even need to explain it though like y'all know that like, I'm already talking about Skip Bayless and stuff like freaking it just came off insensitive that. It seemed like he cared about, like, scheduling and stuff. Like, oh, how, you know, like, it just, it did come off insensitive. Like, when I read it and stuff, I'm like, should probably delete that, dude. And that's what Shannon Sharp said. He said, I hope you delete it. Because <laughs> it, it, it comes off insensitive and he just got roasted like a freaking, just a, like a chicken. Like, he just got roasted like a, a chicken on a stick and stuff. And 
honestly that's why i'm not trying to like I'm, I'm trying to watch everything i say you know so like i have much respect for you know like i i'm just i just want to say i have much respect like it's just this kind of thing it was like i felt like hard for me to talk about because it's like you know it's just like oh my god though but the seventh like i can't believe he got like i i can't believe his the fundraiser for gofundme got to 7.4 million dollars oh my god and that and that's what makes me feel a little bit better talking about this because it's like you know it's like i've talked about like i've done videos i was I was actually talking to my mom about it. I was like, man, this could be a very dark video and stuff. Like I've covered mental health. Like I've, like I've covered mental health. I've covered uh, abuse relationships, uh, suicide though. That was pretty dark itself though. It's just, I feel like all those videos that I've done were just a little bit different though. But with this one, this one has a happy ending and stuff. And I hope he keeps recovering, man. And just like, you just gotta keep the, you just gotta keep it going. Like, like he he woke up, he was responsive, and you know it's just the more that he heals up, you know the better he'll be. You never know he'll start like hell man, he'll, like he could start walking soon, you know. Like I don't like when it comes to like football, like I think it'll like if if this guy wants to come back to football, I think it would be a long way. Or maybe, like, I don't know, retirement, I guess. I feel like this guy would just retire and be like, I don't want to I don't, I don't do this anymore. No, 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 no. Like, I feel like... <laughs> shit. It's like, it's just... Sports is a dangerous game. Though, but... Like, you just gotta love that spirit about an athlete. First sentence they say when they wake up, do, do we win? Because, like, this guy probably thought that the game kept going on. Like, he'll probably be amazed. Like, oh my god, you guys stopped the game for me? Like, I, like I'd be like... Because, like, in the history of sports, that's never happened before. They've never postponed a game unless if it's, like, some kind of tech, like, or technical or something like that. I thought it was nice. Like, I'm pretty sure they called it a tie. And, I'm, and I think that was just great. You know, and freaking... Yeah... You know, I guess that covers it all and stuff. Um, but yeah, um, I you know best recovery to Demar Hamlin, man. And I, I, I pray for the family and stuff. You know, it's like he's someone's, he's someone's son, someone's cousin. I don't know if he has a brother. Probably has a sister. Like it's just I, I you know, he has an uncle. Uh, it's just. Man, it's just like his fan, like, ooh, I couldn't like, cause I remember, like, I remember they were talking about they were watching it on TV actually, about like his part of the like his part of the family and stuff is just like they were watching the game and stuff, and you know, was, like it's like I couldn't imagine like seeing someone like my cousin or something like on the field on the ground, you know. So it's just like my heart goes out to the family and. Thank God there's there's a happy ending and let's hope this happy ending keeps going and stuff cuz like like this is like this is inspira like this is fucking inspirational. Like this is an inspirational story with like a team of people who saved his fucking life and stuff. Like the like the like the people who gave him CPR, CPR and everything were just great cuz like they had to make sure they got air right into him. And stuff is like as soon as they saw him on the ground, they had to they they had to like just haul ass, get on the field, get some air into him, because doctors were saying depending on how long he didn't have air for, was um, you know like d could be determined and stuff though. But they ob like they obviously did great work and they they got out there as fast as they could. They got the ambulance out there and stuff, and it's just. But yeah, you know, it's um I'm I'm just trying to add everything I can think of about the story though. Like I'm I'm not trying to get it 
you know, like there's like another guy that 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 caught heat for it and stuff. Um, though, but I, I don't think he was like I think he was just like what was um, Bart Scott kind of came under fire a little bit because like I think he was just trying to explain it though, but it came out as like as he was saying like it, like Higgins like did it and stuff you know intentionally though which I don't think it's true. I, 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 I just don't think it's true. It's just, you know, accidents happen. Like, hell, man, the guy went to college. Like, he went to the same college. I'm pretty sure. And freaking just like, I wouldn't do that. If I if I went to school with someone, man, I wouldn't do that to him. You know? Though, but I think that's all the story. Though, but, yeah. I think that's all i gotta say um but yeah man um prayer uh prayers for damar hamlin and you know it's much love goes out to his family and stuff and like i you know i know it's the i know this title is the darkest day in football though but it could be also one of the most inspiring stories of how they they saved this young man and stuff you never know what he could do in the future and stuff because his GoFundMe raised seven million dollars and stuff like you know it's just we just got to see what come like what goes on from here and stuff and um yeah man freaking I really hope I've been the nicest I can about this story like I I'm only just trying to explain stuff I'm not you know like hell I even talked about Skip Bayless and Bart Scott how they like you know like, like, you know, to me, I felt like this one had to be, like, I'm just trying to word it right and stuff. And I'm just taking my first glance through and stuff. Um, just, you know, put that, you know, put that disclaimer there. I'm just trying to, you know, I just, I just want to do the story and talk about something good that came out of it and stuff. And yeah, so, uh, all right, well, hey, man, there's, you know, hope. There's I feel like before I leave, just know that sometimes there's always hope and you got to hold on to hope. And as you know, I know sometimes some things like you have hope for and they don't, you know, they go the other way though. But this is just truly inspiring and stuff. And ah, God, much, much love for the game because it's like, they they had they must have had good specialists out there to save them and stuff and my god those guys are heroes they're heroes so all right see you later Perfect. hey thanks for watching come hit that like and subscribe come take a look at the new merch shop and everything got some mugs get come get yourself a t-shirt if you want you know just Hell, come join the Discord, got a Facebook group, come join me on Twitter. Everything that, I, all of my socials are going to be in the description right below. So, uh, thanks for coming, man.